What's poppin' air gunners? I'm Denny, the Flat Broke Air Gunner, and this is the Flat Broke Air Gunner Show. And today, we're gonna be taking a look at this, the Diana Trail Scout in 22 Cal. I wanna thank you for tuning in. Stick around, it's coming up next. <laughs> Welcome back, Air Gunners. Like I said, it's going to be a review today. We're taking a look at the Diana Trail Scout, and uh, it's a CO2 rifle, and this one's in 22 cal. Uh, the Trail Scout is a CO2 powered bolt action repeater, and it comes with a seven shot capacity magazine along with a single shot tray and for individual shots. I picked mine up in the black synthetic Monte Carlo stock ambidextrous version. Uh, I would like to think there's a wood version out there, but I haven't seen one. Uh, the stock feels really narrow, not only down here at the front, but in the in the pistol grip part. I could literally wrap my whole hand just all around it, and I discussed that in the uh, um, revealing of the gun. But don't get me wrong, even though uh, it's narrow and small and it feels like it's built for a child or a little person, I still like it. I think it's a great little rifle, but little is being the key word. It just feels itty bitty to me. I'm six foot two and, you know, a big old guy. And here I am with it looks like something that should be, you know, again, for a little person. But anyways, uh, it has a overall length of 38.9 inches. A rifled barrel that measures in at 19 inches. The Trail Scout has a max velocity of 560 feet per second in 22 cal and has a manual bolt action safety, which is located right in front of the trigger, just in front of the trigger guard. The Trail Scout has 11 millimeter dovetail grooves, a blade and ramp style front sight, and a fully adjustable rear sight for windage and elevation. The trigger is smooth and clean and adjustable. I chose to leave mine as it came from the factory because I didn't see any reason to adjust it. It works great for how I use it. Uh, this little Trail Scout is just playing out a fun little rifle, man. I keep saying the word little, but, you know, I mean, for some people who aren't six foot two and 300 pounds, it, it may fit them perfect. But I think it's a perfect rifle for pesting, plinking, target even small game if you've got that kind of shot you know and that's your thing when fully charged with three 12 gram co2 cartridges yes three you'll get a solid hundred shots so you'll have a full afternoon of shooting of whatever you're shooting at and uh, if you don't have three fully charged co2s just put two empty ones and one full one in there and it will be great for a shorter plinking session. And it's simple and cheap. <laughs> Just the way I like them. The Trail Scout came scopeless, so I had hooked her up with a Barska 3-9x40 Huntmaster Silver 3030 scope. And it's been awesome so far. Fingers crossed. You know, it's a CO2 gun, so it should really be fine. I don't think that it... it I've never heard of a CO2 gun jacking up a scope. It's mostly gas pistons or springers, stuff like that. But And I think the scope just looks really cool. So that's another reason I, I picked up this model. Anyways, it, the Trail Scout comes, like I said, with two extra mags, a single shot tray, and a whole bag of O-rings, which that is just really cool to me because as a CO2 gun and with magazines, I uh, have a tendency to take shot after shot, and that can be really brutal on the O-rings. And, and snap them up so them sending a whole pack of them with I think that's just straight out awesome because it saves you all times trying to find that stuff later so you know it's uh this came fully uh assembled except for the little cracker I had to do that on my own 
And like I said in the, in the intro video, it was kind of weird, but it, you know, you had to put a pin in and different little parts and stuff. And there's a little gapper that goes between two of the CO2 cartridges. It was just a really weird setup to me, but after working with it and reading the instructions and getting it all together, it turned out awesome. It helped me to understand how the rifle works. So this is already charged up and ready to go, but we're going to, uh, it's, it seems to really be loving the Stoger X uh, Sport, like kind of wad cutter type ammo. So we're going to put a round in it. I'm going to use the single shot tray because I'm not planning on doing a whole bunch of shooting during this review, but I absolutely plan on doing some shooting afterwards. Range Master Bart's over here making sure I'm safe. I got my glasses on. So. Load it up. There you go. It's that simple. Here we go, folks. those were the shots people like i said it's just a really fun rifle it, it's uh i i probably wouldn't go trying to hunt a coyote or anything with it you know what i'm saying but uh for rats uh pesting that kind of stuff a rabbit a squirrel i think this thing will do just fine and again if if you're a smaller person you may want to look into this because again look i could there's room to spare i could cross my fingers over on the stock alone if you look up here it's like an inch wide. It's very, very narrow. It does what it's supposed to do. Don't get me wrong. But again, to me, it just feels like I should be able to put it in my pocket or inside my, my vest pocket and take it out to the farm and shoot it. I can take it out to the farm and shoot it, and that'll be fine. And I'm really, again, enjoying it. I'm busting, I'm busting balls on the gun, and that's not necessary. It's a fun gun. It does what it does, and it's, it's not that expensive. I'm going to put a thing on the end of the video and show you how much it is, if I can find it online, and the screenshot actually works. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Not only does your viewership, but your friendship truly means a lot to me. Always be a straight shooter. Always wear your shooting glasses when you're shooting. Stay FBA for life, my friends. Take care of yourselves out there. I'll see you on the next video. God bless.